Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and in today's Sunday Reset, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I waited until late in the evening to pop on the camera. It is 7 p.m. now and I'm just gonna kind of take you through a relaxing evening here in our home. This is a Sunday night, however, it is kind of like my every evening routine, if you will. Um, especially in the nicer months. I literally already have my sweatpants on. I have a <laughs> Halloween sweatshirt on because that's where I'm at. Um, but dinner is done. I We just got done like doing majority of the dishes. The dishwasher is on. Um, I've got clothes in the dryer drying and I've just got to get some things taken care of. So there's always a few things we try to get done on Sunday evening to help our next day, you know, go smoothly and not just Sunday, actually any school night to be honest, but making sure that our coffee cups are ready to go and just kind of getting us, you know, all good, like getting our backpacks out of the closet and hung up. The boys will go through them, make sure those are good. They'll pick out their clothes and we'll just, you know, try to set up as much as we can the night before to just make it a smooth and easy transition to Monday and the work week. So uh, for tonight though, I'm going to enjoy some outside. Every Sunday evening, I try to just relax and enjoy some downtime and the weather is so beautiful that I'm going to go sit on my newly decorated front porch and I'm going to enjoy the sunset and I'm actually going to play my favorite game on my phone and that's going to bring me into today's sponsor. So I want to thank June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. I don't play a ton of uh, games on my phone. I have a select few, although my phone is full of them because of my boys, but June's Journey is by far my favorite game that I have ever played because it is so beautiful. It's like watching this gorgeous cartoon set in the 1920s and I am a just, I love it so much. June's Journey is a hidden object game where you have to look for certain items and you're also trying to uh, figure out the mystery. It's like a big game of Clue and like I said, it's set in the 1920s so everything is just really beautiful. The colors are really gorgeous, the scenery is very pretty and the music is probably my favorite. I always make sure that I have my headphones in when I'm playing so that I can listen to the beautiful music. It's so calming and relaxing. My favorite time to play June's Journey is in the evening like this when all my other things are done and I can just relax. I can also play this when I am just needing a little bit of a break. If I'm sitting on the couch or outside with the boys, it's really fun. They're playing on their electronics and I'm able to enjoy my own too. So I've really enjoyed playing this game, not just because of how gorgeous it is, but just how relaxing and fun it's been. You can download June's Journey for yourself by clicking the link down below. It's a free download. You can download it for iOS as well as Android. You can also download it to play on your PC computer, which is my next go-to because I love to have my computer on my lap, in my bed, at night when I'm hanging out with my husband or watching old episodes of Big Bang Theory. I can enjoy playing a couple of chapters of June's Journey. So definitely make sure you check it out and thank you June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna get started by cleaning up the kitchen. My kitchen kind of falls apart during the week. That's normal, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put things away and get everything organized. My son was also working on his uh, project for school. He had to teach his class how to do something. So he is going to teach them how to draw Pikachu and He's a very good artist, so it'll be a fun project for him to do with his classmates.
There is something very satisfying about cleaning up at night before you go to bed. I try really hard to just make sure that our space is as clean and relaxing as possible before the start of the new day. It doesn't always happen, don't get me wrong, but on a Sunday night for sure, we try really hard to just start the day the next day with a clean slate so that our Mondays are a little bit smoother. There are always things we try to do the night before that don't always get done, but we try really hard to make sure that the dishes are all done, that that the dishwasher gets run, that we have our coffee cups ready to go, backpacks hung up, shoes prepared, that we pick out our clothes the night before. It just seems to really help the next morning go really smoothly. So that's what we do every single night when we have a school day the next day. And we are rapidly approaching the end of the school year. I cannot believe it. We've got one more week until spring break. And then we, after that, are in our fourth quarter. Well, we're already in our fourth quarter and the countdown is on. I think we have somewhere around 44 school days, I think. That's not, of course, including weekends and everything. But we are so close to the end. It's just insane how quickly this year went. I am so ready for summer. I love summer. I love to be home. I love to work on home projects. We have so many fun things we want to do this summer. In fact, I was just telling Danny today that we really need to get on top of ordering things, especially the cabinets that we want for the pantry. So lots of things that we need to start preparing for. I'm going to go ahead now and create a marinade for our chicken. On the following day, Monday, I was going to be just popping this chicken into the crock pot so that it was all ready to go when we get home. I made crispy chicken tacos the next day and cooking your chicken in the, the crock pot while you're gone just really does make things so much easier. I got home, I just shredded it up really quickly, added the chicken and cheese inside of tortillas and put them into the oven to bake and they got nice and crispy. They were so delicious. I will link the marinade recipe for you down below in the description box. I found it on Pinterest. If you are not following me on Pinterest, I have that linked below too. Come follow me there. I post I don't post. I save a ton of recipes. I probably should post more things on Pinterest. It probably would be a great way for people to find my channel, but it's hard to do marketing when I work full time. I have tried really hard to market myself, but one day when I'm a full time content creator, that's definitely something I'll be able to do more of. But as I was saying, if you follow me on Pinterest, you can see all the different recipes that I find. I love Pinterest for recipes. It's just so easy. And when I try one, I try always to print it so that I can keep it in a binder with recipes that we like so they're easy to use or find again in the future. So I will link this one for you. It was super duper simple and absolutely delicious. My entire family loved it. My house smelled like a Mexican restaurant. It smelled so good the next day and I will absolutely be doing this recipe again. Another recipe that I do a lot of marinating is a teriyaki chicken. That's a really easy one to just create your marinade the night before, pop in some chicken breasts or some chicken thighs and let that sit overnight. And then it's good to go the next day. That's also really good for meal prepping, but that one is so easy and it's like four ingredients. I think it's soy sauce, brown sugar, garlic, and... I don't know, something else. I can't think of what that might be, but it is so very simple and tastes absolutely delicious and it makes your chicken really tender. So I'm just gonna put the rest of our chicken here into a Ziploc and back into the fridge 
for another night. And I will also post down below what our meal plan was for this week. I've gotten out of that habit, but I hope that was helpful for you before. I will definitely post it for you down below what our meal plan was this week. And then you can look that through and I'll try if I have a link for any of the recipes, I will try to link those in the meal plan as well so that you can find those. Now that I had the chicken marinating in the fridge, I'm just going to come here to our entryway and grab the boys' backpacks out of the closet and hang them up here by the front door. I keep them in the closet through the weekend so that we don't have to look at them, but then we just make sure we hang them up and clean them out. I'm also going to get our coffee cups ready to go. I just have them there on the coffee machines and I'm going to take a second to fill up all of the coffee for the incoming week. Next up, I came here into my bedroom and sat down at my desk and went through what we had going on for the week. I checked my emails, my work email. I don't go through and read all of them, but my principal sends a weekly email to us on Sunday so we know what's going on for the next week so that way I can plan ahead if I have a staff meeting or anything like that. Like I mentioned before, soccer has started. My boys are currently in a play, both of them in a play in their school, two, so two separate plays. Um, my other son does track. It's just a crazy busy time for us. So I try really hard to look over my schedule every single day, write down a few things that I absolutely have to get done. And that way I know what I have going on, where everybody needs to be, make sure I don't need to find some carpooling or anything like that, make sure Danny knows. And then I just grab my work bag, load up my stuff, plug in my computer so it's ready for the next day, and I feel so much more at ease knowing what I have going on. I just wanna take a second to show you my work bag. This is my work bag. I think I've talked about it in a previous video. Um, it is by Simple Modern on Amazon, and I love it. It is a vegan leather. It's really big, so I can keep my planners in there. Um, tomorrow morning, I'll put my computer in there once it's charged overnight. It's got these really big, big shoulder straps, but then also has a crossbody strap, so I love the color. It's got these big, um, pockets in the front. This is where I keep like my work badge so it's easy to grab, but um, I love it and I think it's gorgeous and it's so soft. I think I've shown it on my channel before, but I just wanted to kind of talk about it again because I love it so much. Okay, so I've done my planning, my meal prep for tomorrow. The kitchen is cleaned up. Danny is upstairs getting the boys put down for bed. I just gave them hugs and kisses goodnight. And I'm about to do like my skincare routine. So I figured I would just kind of run you through this. Um, on a typical Sunday night, I would take a bath as well. But for tonight, I'm just so tired that I just want to get in my bed and just have some relaxed time and call it an early night. So I'm not gonna do a bath, but I'm gonna walk you through my evening 
um, skincare, kind of just my skincare in general. I get a lot of questions about my skincare and you guys are very kind. Um, and I just wanna share with you what I do. So I am lucky enough that I have very chill skin. Um, and I, what I mean by that is like I don't get breakouts. Um, I don't have very like sensitive skin. Sometimes I'll get hives. Every now and again, I'll get a pimple, but it's very rare. Um, so products that I use work for me, but they may not work for you. Um, and I also have very dry skin, so. First things first, to take off my makeup, I use makeup wipes, the Aveeno makeup wipes. Um, but I also, that's like in a pinch, I don't do that every single night. But I also love to use the e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm with Hyaluronic Acid. I get this on Amazon, super affordable, and it's literally just this balm that you use. It's like a lip balm that you just rub on your face and it literally takes your makeup off. It's wonderful. I love the way it feels. I love to watch my makeup like melt on my face. So um, I can't recommend this enough. I love it. Following that, I wash my face with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This is a hyaluronic acid um, exfoliating cleanser. It's like a gel cleanser. Um, I wish I could show you like the consistency. It's like a gel cleanser, but it's got like a little bit of granules in it. So um, it feels really, really nice on your skin. Lightweight gel cream cleanser with naturally dry skin smoothers, effectively removes dirt, oil, and dry surface. So um, love this stuff. I use this every single night. Um, I don't wash my face in the morning. I will just rinse it. And then I use my next item that I use in the night and in the morning, and that is this deep hydration facial toner. I get this at TJ Maxx, it's by Clean Beauty, um, but you can find it on Amazon too. So this stuff is great. It's got rose water and lavender, so it helps to hydrate your skin. You may not need a toner, but the one thing I forgot to mention too is my eye makeup remover. I use the CeraVe eye makeup remover. It's like a creamy eye makeup remover. This stuff is amazing. Um, it removes waterproof mascara. And I believe it's um, got oil in it. I think it has uh, castor oil. So don't use that if your skin does not like oil. But I love CeraVe products so much. Um, okay, so then after I clean, tone, I remove makeup, clean my face, tone my face. Um, the next thing I use is my serum. Now this stuff is probably the number one thing I would say has made such a huge impact on my skin for like fine lines and everything. And that is the Dime Turn Back Time Serum. Um, you're supposed to use three little drops every day on your face. Um, and I do this morning and night. It says, after cleansing your face, apply three to five drops every morning and night. Um, and this stuff is amazing, amazing. I feel like it has just gently resurfaced my skin. It's like a gentler version of retinol, um, and I love it. They do also have a cream, but I am a CeraVe true and truer. So for cream, in the morning, I use the CeraVe moisturizing cream. This I use literally all over my body as well, but I use this on my face. Um, and then if you have sensitive skin, it's not gonna break you out or anything, it's the best. And then for the night, this is my holy grail, holy, holy grail, and that is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. I go through one of these probably, I don't know, oh, I got CeraVe on my finger probably like, I don't know, every six weeks or so. This stuff is super luxurious. It feels so incredibly good. Peptide complex. Um, it just says three essential ceramides and niacinamide. Um, but this stuff is a game changer. It makes your face so smooth in the morning. My face feels like I had a facial overnight. It is the absolute best. So I know that's like a lot of products. Um, in a pinch, if I'm ridiculously tired, we've gone crazy and I just need to get in bed, I'll use the makeup wipe. Um, and then I'll use the toner 
and the Turn Back Time Serum and my moisturizer. The one thing I forgot to mention too is on my eyes, I use the Olay Eyes Retinol Cream. I don't do this every night, but I do it most nights. I need to get another one. <laughs> I just use the back of my fingernail to scoop it out. Make sure your hands are clean. And then the last thing I put on is the Laneige um, lip mask. This stuff is great. I literally use the tiniest amount of this stuff. It goes really far. And then in the morning, I will, once I cleanse my face and I put moisturizer on, I'll brush my teeth and then put my contacts in and then I put this stuff on and then I put my makeup on. So that is all of that. And then right before I go to bed, I put every night the Healthy Feet by, uh, what is this, O'Keefe's. Yeah, this stuff is the best. Wash your hands after because it's like really thick, but I love this stuff. It makes your feet feel so incredibly good. It's like a weird, very thick cream that kind of gets oily when you put it on. I don't know how to describe it, like melts in your hand when you're putting it on your feet, but it just feels divine and it is a game changer. I use it morning and night. And then on my hands, I use this, the um, Dream Cream from Lush. Oh, this stuff is delightful. It smells incredible. Does it tell me what's inside of it? Oat milk, rose water, extra virgin olive oil, cocoa butter, and some other things, but it just smells to die for. And it's, I almost, I, I literally just went like, smell a vision, can you smell this? No, you can't, but it's almost gone. This one's actually a gift from my sister-in-law, but I, you just need a tiny bit of this, but my hands get really dry. I wash them 7,000 times a day because I work in a school, so um, I need to use that. So that is all of my um, cleaning stuff. The other thing, at night, uh, before I go to bed, in the morning I will use the CeraVe Moisturizing Body Lotion, but at night before I go to bed, I will put this gold bond on my skin. It's their age renewal, I think. Age Renew Strength and Resilience Body Firming Lotion. And it's probably about right here. This is um, the second bottle I've bought and I really do love this stuff. I do feel like it makes a big difference in firming up my skin, so. That is everything that I use. So I'm gonna go like cleanse my face and I will see you. I'm not gonna film it because I can't get a good angle in front of my sink. So I'm gonna cleanse my face. I'm gonna do my whole routine. You're gonna see me sans makeup and then I'm gonna crawl into bed and we're gonna call it a night. So that's gonna be it for me. I wanna say a huge thank you yet again to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. Remember that link is gonna be for you down in the description box. Make sure that you download this game. I promise you, you will not regret it. I am so looking forward to getting snuggled in my bed and enjoying a fun little, you know, half an hour or so just relaxing my mind and body. So thank you guys so much for coming with me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a change for a Sunday reset. Sometimes I feel like I just got to do something different and you guys have been asking me so much about what I do for my skincare and hopefully that helped. I'll try to link everything I can for you down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care my friends. I said I wasn't going to film myself washing my face, but I was able to just kind of prop it up for you here. I'm going to start off by taking off my lashes, pulling my hair back, and turning the water on warm uh, so that it starts to warm up. We have well water, so sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get warmer. I'm also going to take out my contacts and get those cleaning. I use the Fizzy uh, Clean and Clear or Clear Clean. I can't remember what it's called. Clean clear. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember, but it fizzes up and cleans my contacts. And now I'm going to go ahead and use the cleansing balm just to melt away all of my makeup. And you're about to see why for me makeup is so important. I love to wear makeup, but uh, primarily it's, I use it to even out my skin tone. I have really red skin. 
It's not very sensitive, but it just turns very red for some reason. And I also have some um, hair in my eyebrows that is like clear now. My eyebrows have gone gray. It's kind of funny. So it looks like I've shaved them, but in reality, it's just that the hair in my eyebrows are losing pigment as I get older. So I'm just going to clean my face, put all of my nighttime products on, my everyday products, brush my hair, and as you can see, I've got water all over my sweatshirt. I'm gonna put my pajamas on, and it's almost time to get in bed and call it a night. right now the dishwasher is running but I did want to take a second to talk to you a little bit about what I do at night before I go to bed too um, one thing is I take the calm this is a magnesium supplement I drink it it's kind of fizzy um, but it does help you sleep um, and it's really good for you and I also take all of my vitamins so I take some Metamucil gummies I also take a probiotic gummy and I also take a daily vitamin gummy so I do all of that at night so that it doesn't upset my stomach um, but now that I have all of that I'm gonna make myself my drink and I'm gonna go crawl into bed and that my friends is not only gonna bring us to the end of this video but it's gonna bring me to the end of this night I'm just putting on some nighttime cream on my hands and feet and it's time to crawl into bed and call it a day. So thank you so much for joining me today. Again, thank you to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. Make sure that you check out that link down below in the description box. And if you do download the game, let me know what you think. I have been addicted. I was playing it today at soccer while waiting for the game to start. I just love it. So I hope you guys have a beautiful week and... I will see you in the next one. Take care, my friends. <music>